guys and welcome to Sarah Speaks, my final follow-up video, finally a follow-up video to my last video, which was quite a while ago. I'm trying to get this going again and this is a product I've been wanting to talk about on my regular channel, No BS Beauty, but it just didn't really fit too much with beauty, so I thought I'd talk about it here. And I mention this often because due to certain um, things that have happened to my eyes, my eyes have been very dry and this might sound almost like an ad, but it's really not. Um, when we talk about beauty, I get asked a lot about skincare supplements, beauty supplements, health supplements. And I'm like, unless you're deficient in something, you really don't need a supplement. I get asked a lot about biotin, things like that. The only supplements I believe in at this point are HelioCare, which I take every morning. It helps your skin fight off sun damage. And currently, the Mackie Bright Tear Support. Uh, I'm not exactly certain if Life Extension owns the rights to Mackie Bright, but if there's other ones, I'll link to them. Um, otherwise, I'll link to this one, too. This is the specific one I've been taking now for about, I don't know, seven or eight months now. Um, so I had LASIK done probably about four years ago. I've been using retinoids, which if you use them near your eye area, there's some research showing that certain strains of retinoids can cause dry eyes. I've also been uh, vain enough, I guess, I don't know, to use uh, Lash lash uh, a lash serum which helps grow your lashes like new lash rodan and fields they use similar technology to latisse which is being shown that uh over time it can really dry your eyes out and irritate them so really i didn't notice this as much until after i had lasik done uh usually after lasik they have a regimen of you putting eye drops in your eyes every few hours and after my lasik was done Ye months and even years went by and I never got out of that cycle where I could not not put eye drops in my eyes. Uh, I'd wake up in the middle of the night and have to put them in because they just felt like so dry that they're glued shut. So it got to the point where four years after LASIK, I'm putting eye drops in my eyes eight, nine, ten times a day. Finally on Reddit, I did a little bit of research and I heard about this Mackie Bright uh, extract, which uh, they have a whole site, the company that manufactures Mackie Bright, it's a uh, patented trademarked ingredient um, and there's actual studies that show this Mackie Bright ingredient can help with tear support and I will say after having taken this now for I've been on this for months now but even after the first two months of taking it I noticed I stopped having to put drops in my eyes it was reduced to maybe twice a day and then finally months, six, seven months into this now, I can honestly say I go multiple days without having to put eye drops in my eyes. I mean, I, I went through so many of these, those little pod things uh, where it's just like a single use packet. My nightstand covered in, I don't know, five, six, seven different types of eye drops, different textures, gel textures for before bed. The thicker drops uh, in the middle of the night and then in the morning, the lighter drops so you can actually see properly. But Honestly, after taking this now, I am a believer that this stuff, and it has actual published research that shows that it's effective. So I wouldn't really want to say just because something worked for me, that means it may work for you. Like there's a beauty blogger blogger that sells kiwi, uh, kiwi, kiwi supplement that they say helps with acne, which there's zero research that proves that does anything. This actually has real research, published research, peer-reviewed research studies on it showing that it actually does something and you know what I was getting miserable I mean even driving at night would be a, an issue because my eyes would be so dry uh things would look blurrier uh and that's not a big issue anymore either so anyway so whether you did LASIK and it screwed your eyes up or you did the lash serum or you did too many retinoids and it dried your eyes up or if you just naturally have dry eyes I mean, living in winter in Minnesota, it's always dry. So this time of year, I've always been putting eye drops in my eyes regardless. So um, anyway, so Tears, they, the, this company has a website. Tears not only provide moisture inside the eye, they also provide nutrients to nurture the cells of the cornea. It's important uh, due to the lack of blood cells in the cornea. Besides water, Tears provide glucose, vitamins, minerals, antibiotics, and lipids. And this uh, Mackie Bright has been shown to provide nutrition for the eye area, uh, prevent against chronic oxidative stress, and just restore healthy healthy tears. And uh, that Mackie Bright is amazing. The antioxidants and ingredients that it, it contains to help help your eyes. So 
anyway, I just want to do a quick video about it because it didn't fit in with No BS Beauty. But uh, anyway, this stuff has been, it's been a game changer. I, 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 I can't remember at any point trying a non-prescription medication like this supplement that has made such a big difference. So if this sounds like an ad, I'm not being paid to say this. I'm not making a dollar off of it unless you guys click the link and purchase it. Even this video probably on this channel is probably not even monetized. So anyway, a lot of you know from using the lash products or retinoids or having LASIK. I love, I'm so glad I had LASIK, but I was so miserable for years afterwards and this stuff was just a game changer. So anyway, I can't say that enough. So even if, uh, even if you've had not a ton of issues with dry eyes and just the occasional eye drops, I think this is huge. I tried other eye vitamins. Um, there's a lot of like Occuvite. I tried some of those for months and they may have made a little difference, but nothing quite like the difference this stuff made. So anyway, thought I'd do a quick video on it in case anyone's out there suffering from dry eyes like I did. It can be miserable. It's not a life altering thing, but I mean, when you're driving at night and your eyes are dry and things are blurry, it's a little bit sketchy. But anyway, that's my thoughts for today on this stuff. So anyway, interest hearing from you guys. Maybe you're somebody that's tried this and if you have a similar experience, leave a comment or any questions or anything else, leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more later. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure we're going to borrow, but later I'm going to do more with this channel. So anyway, thank you guys so much and I will see you later. Check me out on No BS Beauty. I'm sure there's a video up for today and tomorrow and the next day. So, okay. Thanks so much. Bye guys.